Hey guys, and welcome to a video on some upcoming changes to Black Desert. So today, the Global Lab got a new patch, and with it, a bunch of fairly interesting updates have been added. So among these are remastered audio, improved UI, and most importantly, increased level cap of combat experience. So one other big change that didn't mention in the initial starting blurb is also that they've removed how FPS affects skills. For those that know, FPS, uh, basically how it affects skills is a little interesting. The higher your FPS is, the faster your skills can come out, which means certain classes can perform combos much more quickly and effectively with higher FPS. If you have 144 FPS as a tamer versus 30 FPS, your combos will come out much more quickly, and as a result, you'll do more DPS. So the most uh, important change that's coming to the global lab is the combat change. Now the combat change is fairly simple in how they're implementing it. Characters leveling from 56 to 61 will receive 1.2 times the current rate of experience uh, from killing monsters in the field. Above level 61, however, it's even better. So 5661 is 1.2 times, or 120% of the uh, current combat experience. Above 61, so 61 to 62, or 62 to 63, you get two times the total amount, so 200% of the current experience for killing monsters. This will make players that want to go for the Tungrat Earring make that much easier. It'll make going for level 63 or even level 64 much simpler, as it's two times the total experience uh, at any level above 61, not just 61, 62. Did I just get run over by a horse? Really? Is this actually happening right here? Did, really? That was a dick move. All right, let's uh, pull a zoom in and add the wasted uh, gif. Poor, uh, poor Dark Knight. That's what that wasn't supposed to happen. All right, continue on. So, level sixty-two will be much easier. Ton earring will be much easier. Uh, it'll be much easier to earn any future level up rewards, such as the ogre ring. Uh, so the Capotia necklace. Everything will be much simpler, and it clearly shows that they're planning to upgrade the soft cap fairly soon, uh, at least for leveling. So the soft cap itself for gear might not change, but for leveling, the soft cap is being iterated upon, and they are trying to improve the overall level of the player base. Now, apart from that, there are several other changes. There's changes to the brand new sniping mechanic in hunting. That's uh, it's getting times two. And from recent updates, uh, recent tests have shown that hunting can give you upwards of 300 million an hour uh, on Reddit. So I haven't tested it myself, so take it with a pinch of salt. But new hunting could actually be a moneymaker. The drop rate of certain items has also been increased. And you will also get increased experience from Marnie Stone, Savage Rift, any quests that give combat experience, so the uh, Porio Otters, for example, the Book of Training, Red Battlefield, and Team Battle. So they clearly want players to level up more quickly, they want players to hit 60, 61, and 62, and they want players to be leveling up faster. Now, the other big changes are, obviously, the brand new remastered audio is being added to the Global Lab, the change to the FPS that I already explained, and they're updating the UI. But for sure, the biggest change is definitely to the combat experience. Uh, changing combat experience, it's been over a year and a half since the last huge change to combat XP. They've made leveling easier since then. Marnie Stones were added. Uh, they reduced the experience needed for leveling up to 60. But this is the first big change for going above 61 to 62. Uh, double experience is pretty sweet. And... You can probably expect even more changes in the future so that players can actually achieve level 64 and earn that Capotia necklace. It's doubtful that 64 is going to be the last level they add, so 
it's quite likely that Black Desert, the developers, Pearl Abyss, is looking to change uh, how Endgame looks in Black Desert. Anyways, guys, that's uh, sort of the change combat experience coming with the Global Lab. Uh, comment below what you think about it. Do you like the idea of them changing level cap? Are you annoyed that if you've already hit 61 or 62 that your hard work is being devalued? Or are you glad that Pearl Abyss is actively trying to change the game? Anyways, like I said, comment below, subscribe if you liked it, and as always, have a good one.